exchange brokerages facilitate trades on public exchanges. They would have a team of actual people down on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange calling out trades on behalf of the stockbrokers in their office who would be relaying trades from their clients. As we have seen, this system was still susceptible to unscrupulous behavior, mainly in the form of stockbrokers driving their clients to make as many trades as possible to drive up their commissions. But the exchange had some level of control over all the players in this game to make sure things didn't get too out of hand. If the exchange decided that a particular stockbroker or a particular stockbrokering company was acting in a way that was detrimental to the exchange's reputation, they deserved the right to kick them off the trading floor. This would destroy stock brokerages because if they can't make trades, they don't have a business. Exchanges also heavily regulate what companies are allowed to be listed on their exchanges. They audit financial statements, conduct background checks on the management, and make sure that the company's CEO's mother doesn't pick up the phone when you call their head office. Over-the-counter firms are different. They do not utilize the services of an exchange, and because of this, they do away with a lot of the regulation and oversight that comes with them. 